Hey, what's cracking everyone? Back here with Rise of the Witch King 2.02 version 9, and we're checking out Isengard. Because it looked like they had a fair list to go through. And this is a custom map. Not a scripted one or anything, but... I thought it'd be good to uh, play on something a bit different, and it's a very detailed map. Uh, we're gonna go with War Charm. It's pretty much the go-to. I can get Saruman off the bat. I'm gonna get Lurz. Lurz is a good all-round hero. And it looks like his cripples being changed. But yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna try and play a more custom made maps. Just to make things a bit more interesting. Because there's a very talented map artist that makes uh, maps for 1.09 and Rise of the Witch King. And I'm, I'm quite a fan. I have noticed a little bit of lag on this map though. I always build extra. Yeah, I always build extra lumber people just to give that eco boost. Oh, okay, builders take precedence over. Oh, they came out at the same time. Alright, let's fuck them up. We're up against men on hard. In this case, though, I put a slight handicap on them. Come on, let's kill them a bit quicker, please. I never really recruit Worm Tongue. I've noticed with the new update, it's really good to build your buildings close to uh, your fortress because it's definitely recommended. I'm gonna kill these wolves. Uh, I've noticed the eco steel's been changed, but we'll go through the changes once things have settled a bit. But yeah, I thought I'd go with the evil faction. Normally, I do all the good factions first, but I technically did. I technically did elves already. I went over most of their changes in my update channel update video. God, this is a very interesting map. I noticed the black bars are a bit of a thing though. Alright, let's come back to the rescue. Alright, let's build a warp sentry. But yeah, if you build everything close to uh, your base, you've got that extra defense. I didn't get that warp pit though. Yeah, fuck the builder. <laughs> I'm not the best at these games, but I, I get by. So what have we got? Krembane no longer nullifies leadership, can no longer be attacked or killed. Walk packs. Attack speed increased to 1.8 seconds from 2.6. Uh, Health increased to 275 from 250. Yeah. 
I've noticed walls seem to work quite well against... Oh. Fuck him up. <laughs> Fuck him up works. Oh, they've already got a decent amount of units out, so that's a bit concerning. Uh, we'll get the spy. Jesus Christ, they have a lot of shit already. Towers are good. I know people that play online aren't a big fan of towers, but like, you know, you're versing AI. Take back our lands. I don't know why I chose Gondor AI to go against, because Gondor AI are a bit of a... Actually, that's a waste of money. Why am I doing that? <laughs> Isengard have always been, like, generally OP. Uh, let's... Cripple Shot now can be used against monsters and flying flyers to deal increased damage will not pin them though which is fair enough you don't want that shit yeah building towers and stuff near there near your um eco buildings does surprisingly help also, building things at the back is good, because then they have to get through your base in order to actually, you know, do damage. We're out of, um... Yeah, they build quick on hard. Gotta be mindful of that. You can turtle on hard. On brutal, not so much. You have to really limit their eco. I have seen a lot of people bitch and moan saying the new AI on brutal is impossible. But that's not true because there's been several people to beat them. Get back so we can use our towers. They've got them out already? That's insane. Hey. Oh, that does do decent damage. Alright, kill that. Give it to them. If you have towers and that, always use them to your advantage. Build your walls slowly. Alright. We're gonna go with that, because that's a good way to get resources. Now I can get Saruman. Now attack. These new works will wield crossbows. It's sad that the Isengard walls don't get any um, defenses, but like Isengard are 
What are you fucking doing? Alright, what else have we got? Eric Warrior, cost reduced to 350 from 400. I thought that was cheaper. Uh, health reduced to 200 for 300, slash armor decreased to 85%. Now have access to Bloodthirsty at level 2, not 4. I'm hoping they sort of go for... I have heard wall hubs can glitch out the AI a little bit. Like it makes them derp out a little bit. There was a old Biff Me glitch where if you used... What the fuck are you doing? Uh, if you used... If you just spammed walls, like, one after the other, it absolutely broke the AI and they just didn't know what to do with their life. Yeah, it's Saruman. Alright, his icons are all there. As I said, I know some one of the devs has fixed the HD edition, so things work. But... I'm okay with it not being foolproof. What do we get? All warriors. Let's well, is probably one of the best evil heroes in the entire game. Like for his price. Like, other than Saruman, who's an absolute hero killer. Uh, not hero killer, army killer. What the fuck am I talking about? Alright. Yeah, Saruman hasn't got great armor, but he can be bloody OP. Oh, we lost the builder? Are you serious? I like this map. There's a ton of, um... You just leave the front open, and they generally go for the front. Ah, uh, they took it. Damn. Let's see what else they've built. That's a good thing about Isengard, you can spy on them. Alright, we need axe slowers. And our elite units. Isengard is definitely one of the more OP factions. Their late game, mid to late game, is bloody good. Uh, uh, we'll get Worm Tongue out, see if he's got any changes. Um, Removed Wildman 85% damage reduction weapon scale against Gundabad Orcs. Berserker's health increased to 950. Movement speed reduced to 55. Battering Ram Pierce Armor decreased to 15%. Go out with the bang. Alright, don't go out with the bang. Alright, get back. 
Lamb tongue's the same. Alright, we'll get crows to increase our field of vision. I just love the Maya so much. And like, even though Saruman's a villain, I always loved his character. Alright, we've got 52k now. Get those berserkers going. Let's go after Golem. Oh. We've got 10 points. What do we got? Alright, we'll get that because that gives us a decent fucking buff. Tongue has fallen. I couldn't give a damn. Yeah, men of the West are one of the harder factions to take on. Like, they're definitely one of the more annoying factions, but like, you can deal with life. gonna get Sauron this game because we have the ego to do it this is a really lovely map oh they're gonna flank me are they all right Alright, we need another earth pit. You are weak. Alright. Yay! Yeah, once their siege spam starts, you're in kind of trouble. Alright, always get fire arrows first. Because they're just honestly the best. trying to flank me but it's not gonna work I can afford another fortress oh
Saruman. What are you doing? Yeah. Fuck off. To kingdom come you go. Okay, I swear that does a lot less damage. Uh, battering round. Saruman's dominate ability radius increased to 120. Uh, furnace tweak to fit better against buildings and objects. That's a handy how you do. Alright. We'll get feel the fires. Oh. Yeah, I can tell this is a custom map because of the black lines. And I know I am not using the zoom out ability. I am all for the zoom out <clears throat> against AI, but like against fucking other opponent, it's it's just cheap. Like, there's a reason they added black lines to make it less OP. Right, we can get Sauron now. Um, tainted land resources per kill it takes precedence over all sources. Yeah. Walk century build time increased to 45 per second. Man, fuck. They definitely, like, nerfed Isengard a little bit. Not, Isengard have always been, like, pretty powerful. Fuck off. Oi! Isengard is just such a fun faction to play. There's something appealing about being evil. <laughs> Kill Eowyn. Uh, how did I get Faramir? That can't be a normal glitch. Uh, actually. Yay. I want them dead. Top tier power. God, Isengard still feel very powerful. Faramir died. I don't know how I ended up with Faramir. I will address that. I don't know how I ended up with Faramir, I didn't use his ability to take over people and I never thought that applied to heroes. Oh, get back. See? He's OP, but he's not to the point of insanity. 1.09 version 2's a version of uh, the ring heroes are just the most ridiculous ridiculous thing on the planet. Who 
There is a very big debate of what's more balanced, and I will say I will die on this hill, but 2.02 wins every time for balance in any mod. I will say Age of the Ring are very good for 1v1s, but I felt like their team games are a bit different. Oh, okay, that was useful. Right, what else haven't I addressed? I think I've covered cost of pipe reduced to 350. So most of their units have been decreased and I think I think they've done this quite fairly. Uh I I like dragons. Okay. Dragon's a bit OP, okay, but that's neither here nor there. Like, ring heroes should be able to pack damage, but they shouldn't be able to solo a base with n no support at all. I think that's just fucking ridiculous. As per usual, I include the changelog in the description to see if I missed anything. Uh, I will mention, I did forget to mention the siege works. Build costs reduced to 300 from 600. Level 2 upgrade costs 750. Level 3 costs, uh, upgrade time is 30 seconds. Alright, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this damn video. Thank you all for the devs for making this great update. And I'll see you next time. And goodbye for now. Welcome to the end of the video. Shout out to my lovely patrons. You keep the stream alive. Even a dollar per month is a lot of help and it goes a really long way. And thank you all for essentially getting me to this point. We've recently passed 500 subscribers. Woo. And yeah, this is... So I'm making a new outro. So we have a few Discord servers here we would like to show off. Um, this is my private Patreon. Discord server, if you're a Patreon, you get access to this, depending on your level, but um, even $1 a month, you get that access to most stuff. Just like, uh, we've got videos, YouTube playlists, behind the scenes, which I just like generally drop stuff all the time. Like nice behind the scenes stuff, and uh, we've got our main server here. And um... Once again, links to pretty much everything, co-owned with Nadaline. So we've got news, wool mod content, other game content. Pretty much a bit of everything for everyone. And don't forget to go look at my social media, I'm very active on all of them. There should be some screenshots popping up, but yeah, go check them out. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye for now. Hey, I just thought I would add to my outro and say I now have a Biff Me English community set up. Um, and I thought I'd show it off because I've been linking in the description, but yeah. So we've got like Biff Me Mod News, uh, content promotion of like YouTubers that play Biff Me, general game news, and yeah, we're still just getting sort of used to everything uh and yeah check the links below and you'll see it All right thank you